How you doing guys? I hope you are all having a wonderful day today. Um, I wanted to do a quick video for anyone out there interested. As you guys could see, I got the uh, 110 scale Quicksilver. This is from the Iron Studios uh, X-Men uh, line, Sentinel uh, Diorama. This is, uh, I guess what they call a proximity piece. And I just got this about two days ago from Sideshow. Uh, you guys could see the packaging there, which I actually like that that blue. I think a lot of the boxes have been brown or yellow or or blue, uh, like a dark blue. So this one's really nice. You guys could see the actual statue there, one tenth scale from Iron Studios. Uh, here's the actual uh, statue. This is the actual uh, first one tenth scale that I have from Iron Studios that actually came with a. Uh, manual and i'll show you here uh this is what it comes with i'm used to the bigger statues coming with um you know these manuals to put them together but as you guys could see here um this one came with a full manual and the reason for that is because a lot of the debris pieces uh that you could see here are all separate pieces that are either Attach via a magnet or via a, a little metal rod and um, and a peg, I guess. Um, and but there you go, uh, you will get one of these uh, ma instruction manual there. What I will say though, uh, and I think this is probably going to be my first complaint uh, about this, uh, is the fact that this thing is not very useful. Uh, at least on mine, the individual pieces uh, are numbered on the statue itself but i found that a lot of the numbers that were printed on the individual pieces don't correlate with the number so uh you would think the number one would be this piece but in my case this piece was numbered four so i was thinking it was this but then it didn't make sense so this thing i found was fairly useless uh, i kind of just went by looking at the shapes um, and also by the actual picture. So I think they kind of dropped the ball with this. We'll put that aside. And I've actually already put the statue together. And I'll, I'll put it here for you guys so you guys can see it. Uh, but overall, it is uh, really, really nice. I think, again, they did a really uh, great job putting this uh, 110 scale statue together. Uh, the pose is done really well. He's in a really strong running pose. Uh, I thought the face was done really well. And the face is actually attached uh, via magnet. So you could take it out. Um, here's it, here it is up close. Uh, I want to show the face because usually, you know, 110 scale pieces, you don't expect a lot of detail. And I think, again, uh, at least in this piece, I think they did a really good job capturing the likeness and getting some some detail for a small piece the hair hair here ha the hair is sculpted and i think this is like soft plastic or something it's, there's some give to it but this is on a magnet that goes on his uh, neck here and you guys could see it so um and the statue itself goes on the ba on the base via a uh, peg which was a little hard to get into i had to use some force to push it in um, wasn't too bad and I do like the whole overall design where it looks like he's ripping through a sentinel's hand you guys could see the different pieces here and there's some um I guess some fire or cinder effects there for him running so fast uh through it but you could see it there uh the suit's really well done there's a lot of uh, good line work detail um a lot of good uh, muscle detail. I'll bring him closer so you guys can see it. Um, but I think, again, it's, it's really, this is really well done again for 110 scale. A lot of the muscle, the line work on the um, costume, etc. Uh, really well done. My only complaint, as I said, uh, all this debris here is uh, a lot of it is separate pieces. It's about nine or ten pieces that I counted that need to go attached to the base. 
Uh, some are on magnets. So for example, this front uh, piece here is on a magnet. And um, you can see the magnet there. I wish I would have made at least this one a little stronger because uh, it does grab onto the base. But um, you can kind of, you see it's, it moves. Uh, there are other pieces that are attached via a, uh, a metal uh, peg or pole. Uh, like this one right here, it's it's a little loose, and I've done my best to try and put these in as, as much as I can without feeling like I'm going to break them. Uh, pieces like back here are on a magnet, and um, it, you know I, I like the fact that they they went for this um, sort of destruction and and debris, you know, as as Pietro is uh, running through. Uh, you know, I just I just wish I would have done a better job labeling the parts and, and making it at least a little more clear on, um, you know, where the pieces go. That, that was my only gripe. But I think overall, they did a great job uh, with the statue. Uh, I think the pose is great. I think the costume's great. The color, the blue is really nice. The face is well done for 110 scale. And I think this will be, uh, I, again, I think a great addition for anyone wanting to add this guy to their... Uh, collection and um just real quick for anyone that may be interested uh here he is next to um quicksilver sorry not here's quicksilver next to nightcrawler so you guys could see him there both together again they scale uh really well together and we'll throw in a villain so here he is uh, next to, sorry about that, but here he is, next to Sabretooth. But, yeah. So I just want to do a quick video, uh, just in case anyone's interested in this piece. I think it just released. Um, I believe there was it was supposed to come out around the same time as the Scarlet Witch and Forge. But I know I got a payment delay to February for those two. So maybe those two were moved out. And this one was um, actually came out on time. But I think, uh, again, if you're looking to add a 110 scale proximity piece um, and you're trying to complete a set or uh, this was really nice. Uh, the only drawback, like I said, is is the fact that you have to put all the little debris pieces and they're not labeled correctly. So it's a lot of guesswork and, and making sure that you know, you put them in correctly, and Iron Studios, I'm not sure what you did with these instructions, but they were pretty worthless, at least on mine. They they, they were not clear at all. But uh, overall, uh, this is a nice piece. Um, really great figure. I would definitely recommend it for anyone that may be interested, or maybe you're a Quicksilver fan. Uh, definitely a great piece. Anyway, any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And, um, you know, as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.